you guys a lot about in the sewing patterns. It's on the first impression Friday videos are more often than not an indie pattern. The Sew Together 21 challenge is always an indie pattern. And inevitably, whenever I talk about these patterns, I hear from people about how they just despise PDF patterns. So I always ask them why to figure out, you know, what is the objection? And inevitably it is, I don't have the time, patience, or desire to tape together my pattern pieces, or I don't like the regular printer paper that, it, that I either have to print it on at home, or even if I were to pay to have it printed at a coffee shop, I still don't like the paper of that. So I have solutions. I have options and I want you guys to hear me out on this because there are a lot of really great indie patterns out there nowadays. And with the influx of indie patterns, there's also an influx of options on how you can get your indie patterns to you printed one way or another. I talked to you guys recently about Sublime Graphics. I got a ton of feedback from that video, all of it kind of like, whoa, I can't believe this exists. And I'm excited about it too. And I'm going to demonstrate and um, like do a little show and tell for you guys about all the options that Sublime Graphics offers because there are a lot of them. And so I just wanna make sure you can find the best option for you. Okay, so first and foremost, let's talk about the three different types of papers that they have available. We have the regular printer paper. This is what you print on at home, it's 20 pounds. It is your copy shop paper. If you're getting your prints printed locally, if you are sending them off to another plotter, this is what they're coming on. This is the paper that is the heaviest. Okay, then we have this really lightweight paper called tissue paper. So this tissue paper is a little bit different than what you would see at like in your big four patterns. So the big four patterns are printed at a place that has machines that basically does like what a newspaper does. Very expensive, very, I mean, I think there's one machine in the entire country, in the entire US that is able to do that. So the fact that Sublime Graphics has figured out a way to print on tissue paper is great albeit it's not the exact same tissue paper that you are familiar with with the big four. That said, that could be a pro for you because that tissue paper can be a little bit um, delicate. It can rip easily and you know it has its own slew of issues like when you go to alter it and things like that. So this is what the tissue paper looks like. You can see kind of how transparent it is, a little bit noisy. And I want to point out, I, I picked out a smaller pattern piece and you can see here that there is some bleeding on the ink, but I want to call your attention. Like here, I don't think it matters too much. I can still read everything very clearly, but over here, especially with the small dots, I don't know whatever size that is, they can kind of, they're not running together, but they're definitely a little bit fuzzy on the edges. So that's something that I wanted to point out to you, but I just want to make sure you know what you're going to get whenever you order the tissue paper. And we'll talk a little bit more about ink here in a second. So keep ink um, in the top of your mind. Then we have the Goldilocks, right? This is the one that's in between the two of them. This is called tracing paper. And of the three, it's what I prefer. Um, it's not quite copy paper and it's obviously not tissue paper either. It's somewhere in between. It has kind of like a much more smooth finish. Um, and this is what that looks like. You can see, you still can't, you can barely, barely see through it. Um, but it's not as stiff as your copy paper. I also want to call your attention to this pattern in particular because do you see this giant rectangle in the middle? and then therefore all these other smaller rectangles shooting off of it. This was sent to Sublime Graphics as a tiled pattern, as a print at home, eight and a half by 11, trim all the edges, tape it all together. This was sent to them that way. They have a proprietary piece of software that they developed themselves that digitally tapes all of this together. So you send it off to them as all these individual sheets. You can even see how the, you know, the pages are numbered as if you taped it together at home and their software tapes it all together for you. They print it out on one big sheet. So it looks like you sent it over to them as a copy shop pattern. 
or a large format print, but it's not. It's all these individual tiles. So if you come across a pattern and there are some that only offers the print at home option, um, they will tape it together for you. It's not sent to you with the intention of you having to cut anything other than your size of the pattern. So that handles anyone who doesn't like taping, got you covered. There is a surcharge for the taping. Um, the taping, uh, she said is anywhere between $5 and $15, but more often than not is just a $5 flat rate surcharge. It just depends on, um, it depends on a whole bunch of different factors and she can't really tell if it's going to be five or 15 until you send her your file. So there's a little spot on their website where you can upload a file and they will um, send you back a quote on how much it would cost to have it printed on your paper and if it needs to be tiled and all of that kind of stuff. I also want to say about the papers that if my explanation of the papers was okay, but still not good enough for you to decide which one you like the best, they'll send you samples. I think the samples will come plain without any printing on them though. So keep that in mind, but um, they will send you free of charge uh, samples of each of the papers so that you can tell for yourself which one you like the best. Um, okay, let's talk a little bit about the inks that they use. If you have ever tried to use a laser printer to print your patterns and then you've gone to iron it, what happens? All of the ink like wipes away. It's like it never existed. It's like magical paper. So they have taken great care to pick specific inks that are intended to be heated. Um, inks that they know people will be using and iron on, knowing that you are going to need to iron your patterns to flatten them out and get out any wrinkles or the if it comes rolled or if you store them rolled or store them folded, whatever it is, to get out all those creases and curls, they know that you're going to be applying heat to it. So they use inks specifically intended for um, heat to be applied and it'll never come off. It'll never smudge. It'll never rub off on your fabric. Have you ever had that happen before? So the fact that they are sewist and they know that this is what we're doing with the patterns sort of sets them ahead from the guy down the street that I am using. I don't know what kind of ink that guy uses and I never even considered that there might be an ink that wouldn't work for what I'm doing. Um, so not all inks are created equal and you can never really tell who's using what ink, but with Sublime Graphics, you know that they are using an ink specifically for heat. Um, so you know that there is always, always going to stay on the paper and never transfer to your fabric, which is great. Okay. The last little bit is shipping. So you have a couple of options, again, lots of options, which I really love, but most often when you order from large format printers, they are going to give you a rolled pattern. They're going to roll up your sheets, put it in a tube and send it off to you. The tube can only be shipped priority mail. So there is an additional shipping cost when it comes to shipping the tube to you. At a certain point though, if you're getting lots of patterns printed, the tube makes sense because it's a flat rate and it doesn't matter how much it weighs. And if you have a ton of patterns, you can fit a whole bunch in there. So if you're printing a ton of patterns, that makes sense. If you're just getting one or two patterns though, at least for me, I always felt like this feels like such a waste, which is why I stopped going to the other online plotters like PDF plotters and started going down the street because I was really just getting like one or two at a time. So Sublime Graphics offers a service that is no additional charge, um, where they will fold your patterns for you and will place them in a mailer similar to this one. It's a very hard, sturdy cardstock or cardboard mailer. So it's not going to get folded or bent um, or anything like that when it's being shipped to you. Same kind of quality of the tube. It's just, you know, a flat mailer. Um, and so if you're getting one or two, this is a better option for you because it's cheaper to ship these, but she can only fit so many patterns depending on their size, you know, so many patterns in one of these. So it's really best if you're getting just a few patterns, one or two of them. If you opt for the um, tissue paper, maybe you can get a three, maybe four in there. Um, but if you're getting any more than that, a tube is really going to be the best option for you. But I just want to let you know that there are options. You can have them folded or you can have them rolled and shipped in a tube. So those are another um, another option that you'll see whenever you head to their website. Speaking of shipping, Sublime Graphics has extended their coupon code for all of us, ITH Spring, 
um, will get you free shipping when you order five or more patterns to be printed, and that's in the United States. If you're international, there will be a 10% discount applied to your shipping, so still a little bit of a savings there. Um, but U.S. customers, 100% free if you have them print five or more patterns. So that's a really cool deal. So I hope that this will show you just how easy it is to work with PDF patterns now. I know in the beginning when they first started coming out, they were all tape at home. And maybe you tried that once, you know, five years ago, seven years ago. And got really frustrated and gave up. I know I don't like it. I'm not very accurate. I can't do it well. So I gave up on it. And then whenever they started doing the copy shop formats, that's when I really started getting into indie patterns. You can kind of see the evolution of that um, through the channel and kind of the projects that I was making. But now that they have this um, option where they'll um, digitally tape it together for you and you can get it printed on different types of papers, and different shipping options to, you know, whatever makes the most sense for you economically. It's really a no brainer to be trying some of these PDF patterns. Join me in Sew Together 21. Um, explore some of those patterns that you're falling in love with uh, when you're watching the first Impression Friday videos. Sublime Graphics really has you covered and makes it so, so simple. So I hope that this video helped explain all of that a little bit more. I am always, always on the hunt um, for different services or products that is going to make sewing more fun, easier, more accurate, better results, all of that kind of stuff. And I feel like Sublime Graphics is definitely the game changer when it comes to printing PDF patterns. So let me know any additional questions that you might have, leave them in the comments section below. I'll do my best to answer them or get Linda, um, the owner of Sublime Graphics to help you out there. So that is gonna do it for me today, y'all. Thank you so, so much. Check the description box for links and um, the coupon code information again. I'll see y'all soon, bye.